Hey, what's up, everybody? Where are we at today? Hello, Earthlings. We're at Waldemere. <laughs> yep, Park we're. At this is my what? This is my third time at Waldemere in uh, Erie, Pennsylvania, I think. Yeah. Um, Erie. Yeah. So what? A, I I love this park. You know. It is a good. It's park. like, um, this this is a park I like to come back to every so often. Uh, um, even last year too. If you uh, uh, you guys remember my uh, vlog from Waldemere last year, so, um, but. Actually, I think uh, there's there's a brand new water slide at Waterworld this year, isn't there, Mark? Oh, there is, and let's just say it's a good one. It's called Rocket Blast. Um, the, the only other water coaster I've done is uh, Breaker's Edge at Hershey Park, uh, but it, 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 supposedly this one is better than Breaker's Edge. I, I think you think so. so? I think so. But so I'm, I'm very excited to uh, try that out. Um, I mean, the, the park's not quite open yet. Uh, it's uh, the water park opens at eleven, and the main drive park opens at ten. Um, but we are here to do the. Uh, well, we're here to do the water park first because like, I, I I really wanted to do wa Rocket Blast. Yeah, it's best to get in there early. Yeah, so there's apps. There's absolutely nobody here right now. Um, Woody RF two. RF two. Um, very excited to try that again. Um, as well as some other classic rides here. Um, but yeah, uh, let's, let's have a good day. All right, so we just did Rocket Blast, the, uh, the all-new water slide at that open here at Waterworld. You know, that's, that's a really, really good addition to uh, this park. Um, I still like Burger's Edge more, but this is, uh, Waldemere has a really good water slide. Um, Lots of, uh, um, it'll, in many ways, it reminds me of Breaker's Edge at Hershey Park, but like this, uh, uh, it uses, it, main difference is that Breaker's Edge uses uh, magnets to uh, launch a boats, whereas this uses water, uses water jets. Um, so I think, uh, <laughs> there are a few surprises along the way. Uh, let's just say there are some moments where, uh, I wasn't uh, expecting to get as wet as I did, um, so we'll just uh, we'll go with that. Um, but overall, very fun water slide and an excellent addition to uh, uh, this nice little park. All right, so we're done with Water World for now, um, and even though uh, the ride's open in ten minutes, about ten minutes, but uh, we're getting here now because this is you know what this is one of the best dark rides in the entire world. Classic Wacky Shack, just, it's classic, uh, Bill Tracy, quirky, yeah, you, you named it all. Uh, I believe, I think last year, last year was the 50th anniversary for this ride, right? Yeah. Oh, wait, no. 50th? No, that was 2020. First, 50, uh, It'll yeah. 1970. Yeah. But, looking forward to it again. Weird, but so much fun. One of the best dark rides. Oh yeah, I think it's one of the best soundtracks on a dark ride. Yeah. yeah. No, I absolutely I agree. Um, it's an original like, classic. And, and like classic. I, I'm glad we got there early because that that line is uh, starting to pick up already. So, um, but uh, we're gonna do Steel Dragon now, outdoor live track.
The steel dragon is so much better than the laugh track. Um, you know, I don't remember what I said exactly uh, in my previous uh, Vladimir vlog. I think I said something like, uh, steel dragon is definitely more thrilling, but laugh track is better theming. And yeah, I still, it, it's still, it's still, it's steel better. dragon, yeah, steel dragon is a lot better, right? Um, just, I mean, I, I don't have an issue with laugh track. It's just like, it's, it, the, it's, Hard to, it's really hard to spin on that one. Yeah, there's a couple times I've done laugh track. It's um, it's hard to spin. It's more just about a smooth um, ter terrain, yeah, turkey motion, not really spinning. This one, you can spin on it. Maybe not like Exterminator or another Revertron, but, but like quite a bit though. Yeah, uh, but overall, Steel Dragon is actually so much fun. So what? It's just as a Revertron. No, Mauer. Mauer. Yep, yep, I remember it's German Mauer. Laugh track. In my opinion, I think every park needs a classic vlog move like that. That is the definition of what a vlog move should be. Unfortunately, yeah. Hopkins and uh, Arrow aren't around anymore, but yeah, they need to either borrow some parts to get a current manufacturer to uh, build on. In my opinion, um, yeah, as you just mentioned, in my opinion, I think um, Arrow and Hopkins both made uh, the best type of vlog oh, moves out there. Yeah. So, like, I mean, Cool Cracker, for example, is an Arrow. It's an adventure in an airtime machine at the end. Yes, yes it is. Um, but Thunder River, I remember I rode it once four years ago. That was the only other time I rode it. I got pretty soaked and guess what? It happened again. It's one of the reasons why I think um, I, it's one of my favorites, you know? All right, well, we're about to do uh, the best wooden coaster in Pennsylvania right now. If you know, you know. The 90 degree bank turn, 90 degrees. All right, so um, I actually didn't know this until uh, after my last visit, but this uh, pavilion right here, right next to Ravine Flyer 2, is actually the old entrance for the original Ravine Flyer, um, which is sadly no longer with us after a tragic accident. Um, what, what year did that accident happen again? It was like 19, I think like 1936, 19, it was 1930s. All right, and yeah, that sounds about right. And it was also, um, Hey, this is a John Miller design too. It was a. Uh... All right. Well, anyways, we have some important business to do right now.
Green flag too. Wow, that's wrong. But I still love that ride. I don't care. I I think I think it's fantastic. Um, definitely. Uh, well, it is getting rough, unfortunately. Yeah. Even um, uh, from back when I went in August, even that was smoother than today's Labor Day weekend ride. Well, it's. Um, I mean, it's kind of funny because like they retract it like almost every year. Yeah, they retract like huge, like one fifth or a quarter of the layout sections. It doesn't matter though. I I still think that 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 is a god tier uh, roller coaster, yeah. in my opinion. Um, actually, we did two rides on it so far. Um, so just two ride marathon. We'll probably get some more rides on it later. Yeah. Also, this this Matt Hat rode the wipeout here for the first time, and he he enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It's okay, but it's not terrible. I do not like wipeouts at all. This is the the, the one of Watermere. Uh, the one here at Walmart is the only one I've done, and I probably, I just, I don't like it. I just, so I probably will never do a wipeout ever again at a park. But we're now in line for uh, the comment. What a nice old family coaster, you know? Yes. Great. Uh, reminds me a lot of the Woodstock Express coasters. And also Roller Coaster Iowa, but much better. Right? Yes, better than Roller Coaster. Oh, yeah, I haven't been on Roller Coaster in years. I mean, if, if Roller Coaster didn't have those ridiculous trains, then it would be fine. But it's... Unfortunately, that's what they have at Idaho now. Um, but yeah, it's we got some... Uh, uh, it's a, it's an old roller coaster. What year was this built? Like, like sometime in the fifties, I think. Between fifty and fifty-four, I think it was like fifty-one or fifty-three. Yeah, it it has uh, an Ace Coaster Classic landmark. Um, but nice pops of airtime, uh, and you know it's just great for everybody. You know. So we just got off a paratrooper, but now I don't think I'm ready for the insanity of a Larson drop tower right now. Actually, no. What what am I saying? Dude, I could, I could, I could do Larson drop towers any day. Yeah. And you know what? This is this is one of the best. Um, this is uh, extreme, by the way. Side Pirates Cove now. So, no, I don't remember. Oh, I, I do remember this part. Um, 
this is uh, another uh, very classic uh, Bill Tracy dark ride. Um, this one's actually a walk through them. Yeah, if you're claustrophobic, uh, definitely don't do that ride. I, I personally love it. I do not have claustrophobia, but uh, just a heads up. But um, yeah, just like Blackie Shack, just build Tracy at its finest, you know. It's very long walking too. It is, yeah. Um, a compact space, especially. Yeah. Also, uh, sorry that some of the footage in there was a little too dark. I mean, there's it's a walk through dark ride. Right? You can't really do much about that. Um, but I don't know. We're I think we're both getting kind of hungry now. So um, yeah, let, let's just see what. I don't know. See. Yeah. As he said. <laughs> that's that's actually a pretty good tilt. I'm not gonna lie. Um, you see, the trick is like you gotta like. Uh, if you have like a full car, like you gotta like lean in a certain direction to get like a really good spin, and that's what we were doing. Um, it was it was out of control. Um, what is Spider next? I got. I want to do Spider. Yeah, let's do Spider. That's yes. A good flat it's Spider. It's excellent. Flat I personally, I like spiders more over monsters, like uh, you know, like the one at Kings Island or uh, Cedar Point. Uh, although those are pretty good too. So. All right, let's get on the, the classic spider. You know, I love spiders very much, but they can get they get very uncomfortable when you're stuck at the top. Oh, it does. I think. <laughs> like, great ride. It, it actually is a really good ride, but... Uh, when you're when you get stuck up there, if, if you've been on a spider before, um, uh, then you'll understand where I'm coming from. But like when you're just stuck up there at the top and like you're just waiting for um, uh, the bottom people to uh, load and unload, um, it can actually get a a little bit uh, it can get a little bit annoying if you know what yeah, I mean. Okay. Um, but yeah, we're doing RFT again. How you know, how about a marathon right now? You want to do a marathon on RFT? Yes. That's a good idea. Just a six ride marathon. Five ride marathon. Five ride marathon. Uh, Green Flyer 2. You wanted to say something? You were right. It was a six ride marathon earlier, not a five ride marathon. Sorry. I knew I was right. Um, it is. It's Ravine Flyer 2. I love it in every single way. I don't care how it is getting rough, I admit, but it's I, the, the roughness is what I love about this coaster. It is just. It's, it's extremely intense. Especially uh, for even for a newer wooden coaster. Yeah, wait, what were you saying? Even for a, especially for a sort of newer wooden coaster, although it's never going as smooth. Yeah. Um, but we, we will be back though. We're done with our marathon for now, but we will be back. Um, we're I think we're gonna do some more fly rides right now that we haven't uh, uh, caught up in, on yet today. So let's do it. Yeah, let's do it.
just got up from Alibaba and while I was on, I just thought to myself, you know what? I think we should do the Larson Tower again. Don't you think so? Oh yeah. Good idea. Let's go, let's go do the Larson Tower again. Uh, Thunder River again. Such a, it's, a, it's such a fantastic log plan. It's one of my favorites. It is. That, I mean, it's not a super long one, but it's, it packs a punch. I think that and um, uh, the Knobles ones are my favorite. Right? Yeah. This one, Knobles. Cool Cracker is also pretty great. Cool Cracker is good. Yeah, uh, Dorney Park has a uh, good, well, you haven't been in I know you haven't been on Dorney Park, uh, the one at Dorney Park yet, but that one's a good one too. So um, we are actually we have actually decided that we will be staying till closing. Uh, hoping to get some night rides, maybe. Yeah. Should be supposed to be nine o'clock in early September, hopefully. It's like I don't know about you, but I think an RF2 night ride sounds pretty uh, pretty okay right now to me. Uh, but the park is open to nine, so I think. We should be good. Yeah. I mean, it it, it won't be like you know pitch black out, but yeah, I think we'll be. It'll dark be dark enough, enough to, to have that so. element. But I, I guess we'll have to see. So why don't know. Sun is going down, meaning it's almost time for some night rides on RF2. Uh, it's a park closest of what, like 42 minutes or something. Yeah. So we're gonna make sure we're gonna make sure to spend probably the rest of that time at RF2 tonight, right? Yeah. Yeah. I've actually never been uh, at this park before at night, so, but so this me is either. like this is like completely new to me, and honestly. Well, it looks it looks pretty awesome at night. Yeah. Oh, the low packages and some of these rides, especially toward the front of the park, are amazing. The southern portion. You see, like it's such a shame that like parks aren't, aren't open um, later than what they used to be. Because right. like I mean, like ever since uh, COVID happened. ever since COVID, like like their hours haven't been the same at amusement parks, unfortunately. Like I remember going to Kennywood and like staying until like 11 p.m. On a on summer nights. All right, night rides have begun. 
and this will be my, my first ever night ride on Ravine Flyer 2. I couldn't be more excited for, uh, I mean, this coaster is already amazing regardless, but like, I couldn't be more excited to ride this coaster than now. Do you have a night ride? On this? Like, I yeah, on this. No, I wasn't allowed allowed to the evening I went, so this is no makeup for it. Oh, okay, then it's first thing for both of us then. Please keep your arms and legs inside the car at all times. Very funny. Enjoy the rest. Enjoy your ride on the Flyer 2. Attention riders. Wow. What an awesome surprise. <laughs> Three uh, night rides to finish off the night at Walmart. Fantastic. Fantastic, Fantastic surprise, even though you didn't realize me. Yeah. Oh, this this is Alex again, everybody. Uh, I'm sure you remember him from some of my other videos, but I just yep. ran into him. Randomly, he didn't yep. recognize me. Yeah. Sorry, Alex. It's okay. Yeah. Okay, but we just had a Ravine Flyer 2 night ride, so, like, what do you guys think? Incredible. Better, it, 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 it's given Phantom's dark. Revenge money. I it's think given Phantom's Revenge a fight of its money. I think, I think... I think RF2 has better night rides than Phantom does. Yep, I'm in. Even better than Voodoo Bayou Falls. Really Even better than the Garbage Turtle. <laughs> I wonder who we're talking about there. Um, that, but that particular person must be happy that it's um, closed right now. <laughs> I'm not happy. Boo. But I miss it. Really great day at Watermere. Like, how, how many rides on RF2 did we get? Um, today, um. 11. 11 rides. The only ride I really didn't get to ride is Scrambler. It's right behind us. Oh, we snuck that. It was, oh, well, I don't it's very on. hard to find a partner. Yeah. Oh, Automare, yeah. please change your policies next year. Oh, you, that, that doesn't allow single riders? No, no really? I saw the sign uh, near the uh, front, front of the gate where you scan your wristband. Hmm, okay. Uh, we did Thunder River a few times, Seal Dragon yeah. a few times, so. I did Whirlwind three times. Don't you mean outdoor, <laughs> don't you mean outdoor laugh track? After, outdoor laugh track. We did pretty much everything except for the carousel, I think. Yeah. Comet. And Wendy's Sea Party. And Flying Swings. But, anyways. Spout, Spider, Wacky Shack. We didn't do Flying Swings, that's what I meant. Yeah. Oh. yeah. We did it all then, mostly. All right, well, we, 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 we need to get back to campus now, so. Um, Cedar Point in the next we will, of hours. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow we will be at Cedar Point. I'm going to shoot a vlog for that, uh, get it uploaded as soon as possible. And I hope you guys, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video um, and stay tuned for, um, uh, stay tuned for my next YouTube video. So, see you guys. Thank you for watching. Enthusiasts. Enthusiasts. Enthusiasts for life. God bless. God bless. God bless. Bye bye. Ninety degrees. Bye.